he, uh, he knew he was retiring all along. He just didn't want to tell anyone and have a big deal made of it. Do you know all season, or did you have to wait till after the season to decide? No, I know. I think I decided actually two years ago, but I ended up playing one more year anyway. You know, I think, uh, you know, we, we, the wife and I talked about going to Chicago and, and trying to finish out there. And, uh, you know, we really liked the West Coast. <laughs> we played out there for the last year or two. We could be here, you know, close to Vegas and close to the kids' school. And it would be easy for them to come out, and, uh, you know, weekends and summers and stuff like that. So, uh, but I was, I pretty much knew last spring training. You know, I had kind of pulled some teammates and, you know, some people in baseball that, you know, this was going to be my last year. I don't really think they believed me, but, you know, I think I was telling the truth that time. Again, yeah, I didn't want, you know, a, you know, a, you know, a big show or whatever, you know, the dog and pony show going out the last couple months of the career. Thank you, Greg. Can you talk a little bit about your period in Atlanta and what pitching with Smoltz and Blackman and uh, meant to you and, and also impacted Bobby Cox and the was only in your career? Yeah, that was uh, very special. You know, we, you know we, went, we went to Atlanta for the 11 years I was there. Day one before I got there, we won. Every year I was there just to be around that atmosphere that, you know, I remember Bobby talking about in spring training. You know, we were getting ready for postseason. You know, we, weren't, we weren't getting ready for this season. We were getting ready for postseason. And, uh, you know, we did a little bit less in spring training because we knew that our season was going to be seven months, not six. And, you know, we had a winning attitude back in February, you know, the first week that the pitcher showed up. And, and uh, you know, Bobby, thank you. You know, for everything you taught me about the game. Leo as well, and, and all the coaches over there. Jimmy Williams was my hitting coach, you know, one of my first hitting coaches I had. I uh, just had a lot of coaches along the way that, that taught me so much about the game that hopefully I used in the future and hopefully I'll pass down as time goes on. Greg, have you ever thought about how things would have been different for your, your career in the Cubs had you stayed after the 92 season? <clears throat> a little bit, not, not a whole lot. You know, uh, you know, when I, when I left Chicago in 92, I wasn't ready to leave Chicago, but, you know, sometimes, you know, the grass is greener on the other side. And, and uh, you know, I got a chance to go to Atlanta and win, and, 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 and win a lot. You know, we got one World Series win, but we won every year. And, you know, to share that, you know, like with Smoltz, Glad, Avery, you know, Kim Parker, uh, Kevin Millwood, all the guys that I had a chance to pitch with, uh, was pretty cool, you know, just to go there and, and actually learn how to have fun and, and play golf <laughs> between starts. You know, Smoltz always had something set up, and that, that was pretty cool. And, uh, you know, just the opportunity to uh, meet people from all over the country on the golf course and at the same time win every year.